What's up everyone, welcome back to another review and this time we're taking a look at A Christmas Story 2, the direct sequel to the 1983 Bob Clark movie. Okay, let's waste some time, let's get right into it. Overall, A Christmas Story 2 is alright. Uh, it's not as good as the first movie, but it's okay for its own, for what it tries to bring to the table. Um, let me get the positives out of the way first. The acting in this movie, I think is overall very solid. The actor who plays a much, who plays, uh, <clears throat> The actor who plays Ralphie in his teenage years, I thought did a pretty good job at trying to portray the same energy and charisma that Peter Billings brought to the role in the first movie. Seeing Ralphie as a teen going through the second stage of his life, I thought was actually not that bad. You know, seeing Ralphie act as a teenager, wanted to do teenage things like get a job, get a car, impress a girl, all that stuff, that was okay. But he still has that, but he still has that Ralphie-esque personality from that first movie. So I thought the actor did an overall decent job at conveying that. Uh, Daniel Stern takes over the role as Ralphie's dad, the old man, and I like Daniel Stern from the Home Alone movies. <clears throat> I think he's a really funny guy. In this movie, I thought he was pretty good. However, his portrayal of the old man was radically different from that first movie, and it almost feels like an entirely different character. It's really hard to believe that Daniel Stern's portrayal of, of the old man is of the same, is... Uh, is a direct continuation of the character from the last movie. It just, I don't know. <clears throat> the, the, the personalities are too, are too radically different from my taste. There's some similarities, yes, but there's also a lot of differences that almost make this one feel like a totally different person. But overall, I like Daniel Stern. I thought he was really funny. Um, and the other supporting cast, like Ralphie's brother, Randy, he was fine. Uh, <clears throat> he was fine. Ralphie's two friends, they were fine too. Uh, and all the other supporting characters played the roles uh, well. Not fantastic acting in this movie, but it was well. Um, in terms of the production values, this movie, they captured that 1940, that mid-1940s aesthetic really, really well. From the wardrobe, the costumes, to the set designs, and the look of the vehicles and stuff like that. It felt like I was watching a period piece movie. <clears throat> and... I like when movies pay attention to detail like that. You gotta capture the essence of the time period that you're trying to convey. And I thought this movie conveyed that time essence fairly decently. Uh, in terms of the writing and the story, uh, it's really nothing really all, all that to write about. Basically, Ralphie wants to buy a car. Uh, basically, Ralphie wants, a, wants this car. And uh, he gets himself into a pickle when the car gets badly damaged. And now he has to try and find a way to raise money to pay for the damages. <clears throat> And basically, that's just the entire movie. Ralphie and his friends trying to take on these oddball jobs, trying to raise money. And for the most, and it is what it is. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing special. This movie is a middle chapter. It's really forgettable. Like, the story doesn't really do anything. This movie does not have the same resonance as the first movie. And I'm not someone who holds that first movie to the ultra regard that most people do. But... You can tell by watching the first Christmas story, Bob Clark was making an attempt, was making an attempt to make a movie that would, that, to make, to make something. This movie feels like a, pretty much, of course, by, by the time this movie came out, Bob Clark has long since passed away, unfortunately. So obviously he had no, <clears throat> he had no stake in this movie, except for characters that were co-created by him and Gene Shepard, who unfortunately was also, who had also passed away by the time the uh, sequel had come out. <clears throat> So like um, so in terms of like 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 so by having those two creative forces no longer around in this movie, you're not really gonna get that um, <clears throat> that same spirit that the first movie tried to convey, uh, in my opinion. And instead, you get more of a modern take. And the humor is very slapsticky, uh, very crass in a lot of areas, and it doesn't really mesh with the overall tone of that first Christmas story movie. Like the the tone, the the humor in the first movie was a little bit more i want to say more traditional and uh more uh and more character based so to speak this one was just was trying to do comedic moments for the sake of comedic moments and trying too hard instead of it being character driven it was more just it was more just slapsticky let's just do jokes in here for the sake of doing jokes let's just be let's push the crassness to the extent of the rating that we have just for the sake of it <clears throat> And it doesn't really mesh. Like, the tone of this movie 
does not match the tone of the first movie and it feels like you're watching something totally different. This movie feels like a Christmas story with the name slapped on as if it was something as, as if it was supposed to be something different. <clears throat> that's just uh that's just how I view this thing. Like it's it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's okay in a lot of it's okay in some areas. There are some there are some moments that really got some chuckles out of me. Like even though I don't think Daniel Stone's portrayal of the old man mirrors that of the of the first movie, he still has a lot of funny scenes. Uh, the actor who plays Ralphie, he's got some chuckles out of me. Uh, the mall Santa, played by <laughs> played by Gary Chalk, got a lot of laughs out of me. <clears throat> and some of the slapstick humor, like Ralphie and his friends trying very very hard to do do, do their jobs and failing miserably, that got some laughs out of me. Uh, the whole subplot of Ralphie wanting a car to impress a girl, that was okay. And in the end, he actually gets what he wants. You know, that stuff was fine for what it was. And that's what this movie is. This movie is okay. A Christmas Story 2 is not going to be offensive or any way, any shape like that. It doesn't have gross-out humor that com that is completely not related to the first movie. It tries to capture that spirit, but it feels more like an assimilation than an actual, uh, than an actual homage. <clears throat> and that's just my thoughts on that. And that's just my thoughts uh, in general. But you do get some nice little callbacks, like with the damn leg lamp at the end, and other nice little callbacks to the first movie, like with like Ralphie, you know, with the narrate with the narrator of an older Ralphie telling the story and making a reference to the uh, BB gun that he got when he was nine years old as being the greatest Christmas present ever. <clears throat> so you get some nice little homages and callbacks to the first movie. So that was okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about Christmas Story 2 at the end of the day. I'm gonna give it a solid five out of 10. It's all right, middle of the road. Um, it's really a forgettable movie, but if you watch it, it's okay. It's a quick watch. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment sections down below. Like the video and subscribe, and I will check you back next time for more.